Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Swanson, and in this video I'm going to talk to you all about Access 360, which is an app you can put on your iPad to check out books that you can read right on your iPad, both ebooks and audiobooks. And it works just like a library where you're borrowing books for two weeks. I'll walk you through the steps and tell you some tips for how to use it. Access 360 is a green app that says Access 360. If you don't have it, get it from your app catalog. Once it's downloaded, you can go ahead and tap it. X360 does only work vertically, so you have you can't use the stand on your iPad. It's up to you if you want to have X360 send you notifications, um, but if you put books on reserve or hold in X360, it would let you know if something's ready. Now, the first thing we have to do is tap in the search for my library and type in C, C, S, D, and that's all that we have to type in. And then press search, and um, once it loads, we will pick CCSD 181 Elementary, because that's us. It fills in that part with country, state, and library. Then it asks for your library ID and your PIN. For you, your library ID is the same username you use for some other things. It's the very beginning part of your email address. So real first name, last name, with no spaces, and then a number like 30. There's no at D181 students or no at at all. And for PIN, that is your password that you use to get into Gmail, get into IXL, and other things. It's eight total characters, and it's a word and some numbers. After you do that, you can tap log in. Once you're logged in, covers start popping up. Something to know is in the top corner, it's either going to have a headphones for an audiobook or a picture of a book for an ebook where you would read the words. And you should also know if that symbol is green, that means the item is available for you to check out right now. The other books on this screen, they're just white, so they are checked out. You could not check it out right this moment. Down here is an example of an audiobook that would be available right now. But on this screen, this first screen is not anywhere near all the books that are available. It's just some suggestions or some books that are kind of popular and you might be interested in. But it's not anywhere near all the books in Access 360. If you tap the word browse at the very bottom of your screen, you'll get to this screen where we usually pick juvenile fiction because that's where most of the books are. And then you can find over 4,000 books available. And I'm going to show you how you can filter what you want to find by tapping that little word filter. You can click on the line that says available now and a little check mark will come up there. And you also can choose if you only want books that are an ebook or an audiobook. You could select one or the other of those. So leave it blank to see either kind. In this example, I'm going to pick ebook and hit apply. Then I have new results and I can see there's almost 2,700 books that are available for me to read right now and are ebooks. So I can browse through them and see if I want any of them. Let's say I want that book, Race to the Bottom of the Sea, so I tap on it, and actually there's over 10,000 copies of it available, so it will always be available, and I really recommend this book. If I want it to check it out, pretty basic to figure out, I just click on that checkout button and say continue with this checkout, yes. And then um, I can go ahead and start downloading it right away. If you come back later into this app, you will find all the books that you have checked out by going to at the bottom where it says My Stuff and um, then going to Checkouts. And it's still downloading right now, but once it downloads, um, you'll be able to see it. Once the book is downloaded, you can just page through and get to the text and start reading. But there is always a menu at the top if you tap through the top and you wanted the text to be bigger or you wanted like the screen to be a different color. If you like reading on different color backgrounds, you can change those things too. Um, as you're reading, you can place a bookmark in the book by tapping on that bookmark symbol up there at the top. 
and that puts a bookmark in. And then you can tap on the thing that looks kind of like a stack of pages with a bookmark. And then it shows you the bookmarks that you've placed in this book. Now, if you would like to put a book on hold for something that's not available right now, you would just tap on the title and this time, instead of a checkout button, it'll say place on hold. And that will mean it can come to you when it's ready. You can see that in the hold sections of my stuff. Another thing you can do is use the search magnifying glass and look up a book to see if it's available in Access 360. So you would just type it in. Here I'm looking up Wonder, and then I press search and it'll come up with the results. When you are done reading a book, go back to your My Stuff and then go back to Checkouts if you're not already there and make sure you return the book. Let's say now I'm done with Race to the Bottom of the Sea. If I tap on it, and then say return, and yes, it will go back to the library. Most books, we only have one or a couple of copies in Access 360, and someone else can't have it while you have that copy of it. So please return them as soon as you are done. After you return it, it should disappear from your checkout list. That was a quick overview of Access 360. You can learn a lot more by trying it out yourself and seeing what's there. You're allowed to have five books out at a time in Access 360. Happy reading. Let me know if you have any questions. You can email me. Bye.